The mini policy writing started in May 2017, and the aim is to promote and encourage young people's trust, attitudes, and aspirations in the police. The initiative also encourages community awareness, responsibility, and citizenship. Our evaluation involved two primary schools, Cates Grove and Alfred Sutton, providing 20 aged 9 and 10 pupils 12 months of activities and experiences. This involved neighbourhood police officers visiting local primary schools and running police-led community activities. Sessions involved speed check awareness, trips to places of worship, the local court, the local fire station and litter picking. The evaluation collected a range of data, including student focus groups, staff interviews, field observations and a short survey. We found that while young people tend to have positive views of the police, their visions about the police are strongly influenced by the media, especially in the news and in films and movies, which can include negative constructions. By being a mini-police, students develop a richer understanding of their community as well as their responsibilities as young citizens. Their knowledge of the police has improved with a greater recognition and appreciation of the work of the police. Whilst aspirations to work in the police remain modest, their participation in the mini police have undoubtedly developed their personal acumen, community identity, civic responsibility and citizenship. With the speed check awareness session, the mini police children were given the chance to use police cameras to measure the speed of vehicles passing by. Everyone seemed very excited by this, especially when told how expensive the cameras were. The mini police would hand out letters to any drivers caught speeding, asking them to be mindful of their speed. For some, this was their favourite session. Mini police officers were also given two alcohol awareness talks. These were led by Tessa Bransden, the Community Alcohol Partnership Officer, who is funded by the Reading Council. The first session was based on underage drinking. Not many students knew what this meant at first, but by the end of the session, many were able to answer questions correctly about age restrictions and the consequences of drinking alcohol. The mini police officers also visited a local fire station, which was a particularly enjoyable event for the students. They were given a tour around the station and shown how to do first aid, as well as how to cope with cold water shock. It was very educational, but the children appeared to have bundles of fun as well. They were observed spraying water from the fire truck, as well as aiming safety ropes in buckets. We are pleased to say that the mini police programme has been very well received by students, parents, staff and the officers involved.